in the present video i will discuss the how to solve the linear programming problem by graphical method let's see the problem maximize z equal to 5x1 plus 7x2 subject to x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 4 3x1 plus 8x2 less than or equal to 24 10x1 plus 7x2 less than or equal to 35 x1 comma x2 greater than or equal to the 0. Here z equal to 5x1 plus 7x2 is the objective function. And x1 and x2 are the decision variables. x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 4. 3x1 plus 8x2 less than or equal to 24. 10x1 plus 7x2 less than or equal to 35 are the constraints. And x1 comma x2 greater than or equal to 0 is the non-negativity constraint. Let's see the solution. First step is consider the each inequality constraint as an equation. For this, replace the inequality symbol with equal symbol in the constraints. Then constraints will become the x1 plus x2 equal to 4. 3x1 plus 8x2 equal to 24, 10x1 plus 7x2 equal to the 35. Next step is each constraint will be plotted on the graph by treating it as linear equation. Before that, we have to determine the coordinates of the each constraint. Let's see the first constraint equation is x1 plus x2 equal to 4. First consider x1 equal to 0 and substitute in the equation x1 plus x2 equal to 4 then x2 value is the 4. Similarly consider x2 equal to 0 and substitute in the equation x1 plus x2 equal to 4 then x1 value is the 4. Then coordinates of the constant equation x1 plus x2 equal to 4 is 4 comma 4. Similarly, for the second constant equation 3x1 plus 8x2 equal to 24. Consider x1 equal to 0 and substitute in the equation x2 value is the 3. Similarly, consider x2 equal to 0 and substitute in the equation we will get the x1 value is the 8. Then coordinates of the 3x1 plus 8x2 equal to 24 constant equation is 8 comma 3. Next we have to see the third constant equation 10x1 plus 7x2 equal to 35. First we have to consider x1 equal to 0 and substitute in the equation then we will get x2 value is the 5. Similarly consider the x2 value is the 0 and substitute in the equation then we will get x1 value is the 3.5. Then coordinates are the 3.5 comma 5. Next each constraint will be plotted on the graph by treating it as linear equation. And treat x1 as the horizontal axis and x2 as the vertical axis. Here we draw the horizontal axis and vertical axis on the graph sheet. And considering the horizontal axis as the x1 and vertical axis as the x2. And considering the 1 centimeter equal to the 1 unit. Then locate the coordinates of the each constraint on the graph sheet and joined by the line. First we have to locate the first constraint equation x1 plus x2 equal to 4 coordinates 4 comma 4. So first we have to mark the 4 on the x1 axis and also 4 on the x2 axis. Then we have to join the, these two points by the line. Next we have to locate the second constraint coordinates. That is second constraint equation is 3x1 plus 8, 8x2 equal to 24 and coordinates are the 8 comma 3. So mark the 8 on the x1 axis and 3 on the x2 axis. Then we have to join the, these two points by the line. 
नेक्स्ट हैव टू लोकेट दी थर्ड कॉन्स्टेंट इक्वेशन कोऑर्डिनेट्स दैट इज 10x1 प्लस 10 7x2 इक्वल टू 35 इट्स कोऑर्डिनेट्स आर दी 3.5 कॉमा 5 सो मार्क दी 3.5 ऑन दी x1 एक्सिस एंड 5 ऑन दी x2 एक्सिस देन वी हैव टू जॉइन दी दीस टू पॉइंट्स बाय दी लाइन नेक्स्ट टू मार्क दी फीजिबल रीजन बेस्ड ऑन appropriate inequality conditions of the constraints feasible region is the the area which is bounded by all the constraint lines including all the boundary points so first to mark the solution region for the each constraint then we have to mark the feasible region for the first constraint that is x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 4 having the inequality symbol is less than or equal to then mark the below the line is the solution for this constraint next we have to look for the second constraint that is 3x1 plus 8x2 less than or equal to 24 so this constraint having the less than or equal to symbol then we have to mark the below the line is the solution for the second constraint similarly we have to mark the third constraint equation 10x1 plus 7x2 less than or equal to 35 here having the less than or equal to symbol then we have to mark the below the line is the solution for this constraint so next we have to mark the feasible region so feasible region is the the area which is bounded by all the constraint lines including all the boundary points so we have to mark the area which is common region under for all the constraint now observe here so this region is the common area common region for the all the constraints so in this area which is satisfying for the all the constraints we are calling as the feasible region so next we have to locate the this feasible region extreme corner points so first corner point is the zero its coordinates are the 0 comma 0 next to corner point is the a its coordinates are the 3.5 comma 0 so it is lies on the x1 axis so at the point is the 3.5 so its coordinates are the 3.5 comma 0 next to extreme point is the let consider b its coordinates are the 2.3 on the x1 axis and 1.6 at the x2 axis so its coordinates are the 2.3 comma 1.6 next to extreme point is let consider c and its coordinates are the 1.6 on the x1 axis 2.4 on the x2 axis so its coordinates are the 1.6 comma 2.4 next to corner point is d and its coordinates are the 0 comma 3 so which is lies on the x2 axis at the 3 so its coordinates are the 0 comma 3 so the coordinates of the extreme corner point of the feasible region is so feasible region is the oa bcd and its coordinates are the for o 0 comma 0 for a 3.5 comma 0 for the b 2.3 comma 1.6 for c 1.6 comma 2.4 and d 0 comma 3 next step is evaluate the objective function at the each extreme point of the feasible region as shown the below first to write down the extreme corner points that is oa bcd and write down its coordinates then substitute each coordinate value in the objective function then we will get the z value so first coordinate is the 0 comma 0 for the extreme corner point of the o so then i have to substitute 0 comma 0 in the objective function then z value is the 0 next to extreme point is the 
a and its coordinates are the 3.5 comma 0 substitute in the z we will get the z value is the 17.5 similarly next to extreme point is the b and its coordinates are the 2.3 comma 1.6 then substitute x1 equal to the 2.3 x2 equal to the 1.6 then we will get the z value is 22.7 next to extreme point is the c and its coordinates are the 1.6 comma 2.4 then substitute x1 equal to 1.6 x2 equal to 2.4 in the z then we will get the z value is the 24.8 and next to extreme point is the d its coordinates are the 0 comma 3 then substitute in the z as x1 equal to 0 x2 equal to the 3 then z value is the 21 now here objective function is maximize z so here among the these at the extreme points z value is maximum value we are getting 24.8 at the extreme corner point of the C and its coordinates are the 1.6 comma 2.4. Hence, the optimal solution of the LP problem is given as. So we'll get the maximum value is the z z equal to 24.8 at x1 equal to the 1.6 and x2 equal to 2.4. So this is the solution. And thank you.